my name is Louis D'Agostino, and I'm from Brownsburg, Indiana. I, I joined the program and um, been active about two and a half months now. I've dabbled in real estate for about uh, 20 years, on and off, just buying and selling properties, rehabs, and stuff like that. And then uh, I got a little bit more serious about it because I'm in the racing industry and, and um, used to travel all over the world, fortunate enough to do that. And after a while, you know, you decide that, you know, it's time to maybe settle down a little bit and, uh, and look at some residual money that I will need for the future. And racing doesn't always provide that. Racing, you make a, a very good living, but um, we don't have pension plans in racing. We don't have 401ks. Uh, we, we don't have a lot of things that are necessary to sustain your life after retirement. So I needed to find a way to, um, you know, not only find a residual income, but to subsidize what I currently make now, because we all like to spend money. And I looked around at different real estate programs, and uh, I happened to uh, get online and do a Google search, and Joe's name came up along with a lot of other real estate gurus. And so I, I did some homework and, and looked over all the different people that were selling products out there. And then I come to find out that you start to get on message boards and what have you, and you find that there's a lot of garbage out there. And I decided that, well, let me see who's real. And I got Joe's number and called him and uh, told him who I was and that I was interested in his program. And he was the only one who called me back. I made contact with him. We talked a, a quite a while on the phone. And right then and there, I decided that that's the guy I want to go with. Uh, not only did he call me back, he was also local. So I figured at some point we'd be able to meet and talk and, and he'd, he'd be a perfect mentor for me. And so I did that. I, I joined the mentor program, the six-month program, and it's the best thing I ever did. Uh, the, the first week I started with Joe, uh, I told him that every, every bit of money that I paid to him was well worth it. Uh, and anybody that doubts that, I'll, I'll show them why. So um, we've gone on, and any time I needed any help or assistance, um, Joe was always there. I would make a phone call. I wouldn't always get him, but I got him more often than not. So uh, that's, that's, that's pretty cool for a guy who's as busy as he is and, um, and has the type of program that uh, he doesn't really need to do anything anymore, and fortunate for him. So for me, it's been great. Uh, I'm excited about it. There's a lot of great people out there. Uh, I, I got to meet a guy named Jim Drail, who also gives his time very generously. So um, it's, it's, it's really neat. It's been a lot of fun so far. You look at all the different programs out there, and everybody wants to be your mentor. They all want to charge you money, but are they really going to be a mentor? Are they really going to support you? And that's really what I wanted. I wanted somebody that would you know, support me, encourage me, and, and uh, you know, bring me up when I was frustrated. And, um, and so far in the short period of time, Joe has done exactly that. So uh, you know, for me, uh, this is something that's fun. Uh, I, I don't have to do it right now. Fortunately, I'm, I'm still doing you know, uh, consulting engineering, so I'm, I'm fortunate enough to still make an income adequate enough to support my habits. But it allows me also the time to spend learning about the program and having somebody like Joe mentor me. So to answer your question, I think that uh, when you start doing enough research, you realize that you have to have a mentor in this program because I did the exact same thing in my business, in my consulting business. So you know, people come to me for that mentorship, and I realize how important it is when, when you're doing something that you really don't have enough knowledge uh, of, you know, to that particular subject. So that's why I, I felt that um, it was important to have somebody like that, and Joe happened to be the guy that was there. Were you shocked that others didn't call you back? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think that that just tells me that they're just a, a group out there to put some sort of program and material together and just are going to sell it to you and uh, take your money and you'll never really have any worthwhile contact with them. So it inhibits your learning, uh, it inhibits your growth, and, and that's, that's not, it's not the money. It's not the money that you spend. I mean, the money you spend in any program um, you, you look at the value, what can you get out of it? You know, you can go buy, you go to the library and buy a book on, on real estate. You, you, you know, you can get information. 
But you need somebody who's been there, done it, has, has had failures, has, has had successes, and can bring you through the ups and downs of starting a business. And so you go to the guy that I, I believe now, for sure I believe it, that has you know, got all the necessary tools to give you so that you can be as successful. I've done uh, four deals, uh, four deals. And I, I would have done a lot more, but uh, I'm, I'm funny because I want to make sure that I, I understand all the processes and steps, you know, even though Joe tells you, oh, don't worry, go out there and make mistakes. For me, it's different. You know, in the racing industry, you don't make mistakes. And so it's, it's difficult, especially at my age, you get to the point where, you know, you, you have these old habits. And with these old habits, you're afraid to really, you know, make that mistake because you know the consequences, especially coming from my environment. And so it's taking me a little bit longer. You know, I feel I can do plenty of deals. I, I you know, I'm learning how to speak to people. You know, both buyers and sellers, I'm getting much more confident with that. I can pick up the phone now and, and talk to a seller without any problem. Uh, most of the time, they have enough confidence in me where we do the deal right away. I, so I, I list the houses. I have probably about 15 houses in my control now. And so it, it keeps getting better and better, and I keep learning more and more, of course. And so it's good. I'm, I'm, I'm pleased the way things are going. So in two and a half, in two and a half months, You've done four deals. Mm -hmm. About how much money does that? Uh, ten grand. So, just able to start get into it. And that's that's by the way, you you didn't go to. This is the first seminar that you've been to live seminar. Yes. Right? Yep. This is the first one. Yeah. So you were able to take the reading materials and the phone calls and turn that into. Oh yeah, with 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 his help, with between everybody that's out there, the the phone calls, the. Uh, God, it's like I told him I go to sleep with his voice on my mind. <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, okay, I know what you sound like. Um, and just doing it, just being part of the conference calls and, and being part of the whole program, uh, taking the, the initiative, yes, you can do it. Anybody can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So, yes. And, um, and like I said, I, I think there's so many more deals I could have made. The first deal that I made, uh, I, I didn't make a lot of money at it. I, I, I took his advice and just closed on the deal. So I made very little money on it, but I made the deal. And that was probably more significant than not. Uh, how, how, without jumping in, and I'm sorry, but yes, sir. how long did it take you to get the first deal? Um, a, less than a week. Uh, as soon as I started calling, uh, I was, you know, kind of stepping over my tongue a little bit and uh, certainly not nearly confident in what I was doing. But it was funny, I just started talking to the people and we started getting the conversation and the dialogue going and then before you know it, uh, I was getting people to say yes. And you know, and I would go and um, get a lease agreement memo signed and uh, done deal. And then I was able to start learning how to you know, market their property besides the signs, getting on the, the Craigslist and fillmyproperty.com and all those you know, um, areas that you can you know, market. So it, it's been good. And again, it's been just a steady learning curve for me, and I, I know I'm getting better at it. Uh, I've got a long way to go, but you know, it's, it's one of those things that you see the light at the end of the tunnel. It just, it's just so big. You know, if you look at the big picture, it's just, it's just huge, absolutely huge what you can do with it. You know, it's, um, well, I've learned that um, I've spent my money well. Uh, it's probably, the, you know, and it's an investment. It's the best investment I've made. Uh, you know, I've made my money back. I, I've got, I personally own properties. Uh, my properties are all slowly being converted to the rent-to-own method. Um, I've learned so much more about real estate. Uh, I, I feel Right now, I feel confident that uh, you know the, a lot of the real estate agents that I know out there don't know half of what I know. Um, you know, my my learning curve is so steep right now, and I also realize how much I don't know, and I think that's more significant because now it really makes me hungry, and uh, and it's a cool business. You know, I don't, you know, I can get up in the morning. I don't have to work my my butt off. I can use my head instead. I can make a couple of phone calls. I can get on the 
you know, computer and I get a couple of deals done. So, you know, it just, there's so much to go. I mean, now I, I see the potential and it keeps growing and I'm, I'm even more hungry than, I, than when I first started. And that's what's cool about it, you know, and then it just, you see it start to mushroom and the business start to grow. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased.